Hey. Hey. How's it going? Good. I just unpacked. That's awesome. Did you have space for everything? Yeah, this place is perfect. Thank you again for letting me move in. Absolutely. You know, I am really glad that it all worked out. I'm not home very often, but when I am, it's gonna be so nice to have some company. You know, Elena, because I have the most interesting stories to tell, but absolutely nobody to share them with. <laughs> See? You're already a great audience. I mean, you're much more fun than the last person that I lived with. Who was that? Kyle. Oh. Well, if I'm not more fun than him, then I am doing something wrong. Speaking of fun, I know exactly what we should do as our first night of being roommates. We hit the town, get dressed up, we have drinks at the Grand Phoenix, we have dinner at this incredible new restaurant that my former sous chef just opened up, and then we end the night with a nightcap at society. That is a serious itinerary. But I haven't been back to the Grand Phoenix since Devon won his award, and I don't think I'm ready. Well, you have to get back on that horse. Conquer your fears. You know, I am not messing around tonight. I mean business. Well, I was thinking something more along the lines of, you know, watching a movie, ordering in, getting some sleep. Yeah, I mean, those are all really good options. And normally, I would love to do all of those things. But tonight, as our first night of roommates, I mean, we have to go big. And that way, if it flops, then we can look at each other and say that we're never leaving this apartment ever again. Ugh. But at least we tried. I thought you were gonna be a good influence. Come on, I am the best influence. I mean, for real. You know, just sometimes what we think we want isn't really what's best for us. I appreciate it, Lola. I really, really do. But I'm just not in a night on the town kind of mood. I've been there. You know, just a few weeks ago, I was at a very low point. I had broken up with Theo, Summer and Kyle were engaged, and my divorce had just become final. Must have been tough. It was. But I am totally, totally over it. <laughs> I'm a work in progress, all right? <laughs> but, you know, I just wanted to plant myself on the sofa and eat mint chocolate chip ice cream and watch Reese Witherspoon movies. And then Mariah and Tessa dragged me out for the night and it was so much fun. And did all of your problems suddenly vanish? No. They were still there in the morning. But it was really refreshing to have a break. It reminded me that I can laugh and dance and have a good time. And also that I cannot keep up with Mariah. I mean, she's a maniac. And that all sounds good, but our situation is so different. You were hurt, Lola. And with Devon and I, I was the one doing the hurting. Devon is a wreck, and Nate is not much better. I really messed things up. You made a mistake. You know, we all have messed up. I know, but it's not that simple. I know. But if you stay here, you're going to spend the whole night beating yourself up. And that's not gonna help you heal. Also, you should know that we are completely out of mint chocolate chip ice cream. Well, you should have led with that. So, what do you say? Girls night out? <sighs> All right, let's do it. 